Hello YouTube, this is Snipeshark Nenore. I'm just gonna do a wet shave with a DE razor or a safety razor or yeah, a new leather walker as it's called. It's, I haven't put a blade in it, but it's one of these devils. So yeah, I just got my in the sink. That's why the water running. Got my silver tip badger brush, uh, loading with water and the bowl to heat it up. Just unscrewing this counterclockwise. There. Just taking a um, uh, Astra blade. I'm just showing how you do it. Taking it out of its pack. And I strop it by going away from the edge for three, four times on each side from my uh, pants or shorts. Just if there is any factory oils or residues. I get that off before I start uh, using it and it seems to make the edge a little less aggressive too. So here, I got the top piece of the razor, just slot that blade in there, it's only one way it will fit. Uh, bottom cap goes there and that too fits only one way get the handle or end piece just line those up tighten tighten and just finger tighten to make it snug and you see there's the blade nice even blade gap I'm gonna use, I got, when I ordered from barbershop.no, I got a little tube of Brasso shaving cream. I'm just gonna use that. Just putting uh, the brush aside. Just. Looks like a little bit too warm. Just turning it down ever so slightly. I don't want to burn my face. Just be um, be um, like a hot hot shower or a sauna. It shouldn't hurt, but it should be warm. Just get my face too warm. There, doing the shin. Swiping dry. There. Just using a bowl. Step in view, yeah. I'm just giving it a little uh, shake. Putting some barber uh, cream in my bowl. And you don't need much. People often use way too much. Uh, you use like a almond size, that little size. As you see next to my pointing finger, it's maybe the size of my pointing finger nail. Not more than that. And I wiped off a little of the excess water and I'm just Swirling this around, creating leather. Leather, sorry. Not leather. <laughs> that would be hard to create. Just whipping up some leather, patting it down. And why do I shake out a little water so I don't start to run it? I can see it's already starting to build up, but it's a little thick. I add just maybe 5, 6 to 10 
drops of water and I keep continuing until it's thick and lush. It shouldn't take very long. As you see, I already got pretty okay leather there, but hey, I want it thicker, so just keep adding a little more water until it's um, like meringue or when you whip uh, egg whites and they are all fluffy then you know you have the right consistency uh, I'm thinking I am there now a little more just you see it's um, not coming off the brush then I need it needs to be moved just a tiny bit more so just adding maybe four or five drops of water and I do often I just get a ladder down there to distribute the water before I start swirling it you see start swirling it Cutting it down, start swirling it, and you see how fast this becomes flatter. Look there, it's, it's creamy, but it's not falling off, you see? There, you can see it's hanging. Perfect. I'm adding just 3-4 drops more, so it don't dry off. And um, I'm gonna go just painting it on so it don't get off. And this is a Mula silver tip uh, fiber from Real Badger. It's silver tip fiber, uh, number two knot size. I think it's 21 millimeter. And this uh, cream from Purasso, really, really nice. It's tingly, it's minty, it's really nice. And <laughs> I know this sound weird, but you often got it around your lips, your nose, with Purasso. It's probably one of the few brands it, I don't mind. It uh, tastes like minty chewing gum. It's, uh, it doesn't taste bad at all. And it smells and refreshes your entire face. Yes, getting um, there. So, there. And this bowl, bowl is warm, so I'm adding just some three, four drops and patting the leather ladder down into the bowl to keep it warm. Putting that aside, this is a new blade. The old blade I used 12 times before I needed to change it out, so yeah, I don't scratch the skin, it's, it's such easy, I just lay it down, fan the angle, and this is like butter. There's nothing like a fresh Astra blade. It's so smooth with this razor. It's impossible. I've done my private area with this. It's impossible to cut yourself. If you are um, a normal person. I'm not using force. I'm just letting the razor uh, do its job. And yeah. 
flicking here so like yeah crazy and um, um, the the bear that's one uh, the badger brush trust me it makes a difference I'm looking that way because that's where the camera is trust me uh, the Mueller synthetic silver tip fiber it's a great brush don't get me wrong nothing wrong with it but a real badger silver tip it keeps its warmth better its uh, moistness uh, the leather doesn't seem to dry up as quick it's just better the silver tip fiber uh, the synthetic one are actually a little bit just a tiny bit softer on your face If I didn't know I had a razor blade in there, I would say I didn't, but of course it shaves. It's, yeah, the Muller Roca hits. Yeah, I, I'm speechless every time I shave. Uh, I'm, um, I found that razors aren't for me. I'm gonna try some now and then just for fun, but um, it's a deer racer like the Mule Rocco, it's come on. It's 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 incredible. Just getting rid of the old stubble and um wetting my face. And yeah I forgot to say the Mule Rocca doesn't have ladder channels like traditional racers but I've never found that to be a problem you can see I've just rinsed it and there's nothing there and there's nothing there so and you can see the blade it's getting slightly bended into the shape it needs you see there yeah that's what was a water drop so you see it bends into shape this is a racer that will last your lifetime i really want the jet black one yeah i forgot to shave getting my bowl of leather and now i just take some creamy creamy leather creamy leather 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 up and i paint it on Now I'm going against the grain. I do a two pass shave, one with the grain, one against the grain, and then usually a tiny bit of clean up. So yeah. So tomorrow I'm uh, starting pumping some weights again. I hope my body can take it. I've been sick for a good while now, being weak, fragile. Uh, I can't work because of my health, so I hope to turn things around. I'm trying my best. Just going up against the grain, and it's buttery smooth. That's the way I can describe this racer. Like like butter. It's like taking a warm, warm knife and just gliding it along melted butter.
there. I got a what do you call it? Sit. Tweese in Norway. Sit. Pimple. You know the one you <laughs> squeeze and it sh shoots white gooey stuff out of it. I got one here. So it isn't a cut or nick. It's just that I'm uh, cut that clean off. I can't even feel it. So. Oh, this shit time is good. It, it's so fun to put a new Astra blade in the Muliroka because I, I can't feel the blade. And when I stroke it before, it's... Yeah, it's it's insane. I, I won't go into details, but I shave my uh, private area with this without any problem. It's like that razor and my face and the Astro blade. It's a match made in heaven. I'm just um, checking. Nothing there. Yeah, a little under the nose there. Not there. This is being extremely picky. Little on there. Little there. Little on there, and I'm <laughs> being extremely picky. I'm as uh, smooth as a baby, but to say it easy, there. And this is important, at least for my skin. I am um, use not very cold, but cold water. It's as cold as it gets from the tap. My rinse they're very good. You need to get that soap off your face because that's what um, dries up your skin. It's not uh, and irritates your skin. It's not often the shade, but it's often that you haven't washed off the um, soap completely before that's a huge huge no no before I just splashed some water I was always red always irritated and I yeah for the heck of me I couldn't understand why then I started to really wash my face and look no redness and just and this is very important Washing your brush, very, very, very good. So I'm turning on the hot water again. Just rinsing out the bowl. Just letting the water hit uh, the brush. And with badgers you don't want very warm water. I think max is 40, 50 degrees. So yeah. Warm water, like you shower it. If you take cold showers, uh, you need to have it at least lukewarm to get the soap off. I'm just drying off my bowl completely. So that's clean. Putting that in here. And I got this little guy to hang my brush in. I'm just letting the water make all the soap uh, soft. Then I can show you. I let the water hit it from the top and down into the knot. And I mas massage it like this many times. Many times to get the soap out. I um, squeeze it and it's important to let the water flow through the brush because if you've got some soap particles left that's just the skin you can see some red dots I'm gonna um, use an allen block from Torasso but I'm just doing this before because rinsing your brush if you want it to last is extremely important can't say that enough synthetics they take a lot more abuse but still 
treat your brush and your brush will treat you. I'm soon done there. I'm just making sure there's no soap left on that brush. It's so important to get your brush clean. Then I just shake some water into it without touching it. Shake the water off. Then I do into the shower and I do heavy, heavy, like shake it for my entire life. That fluffs it up again and it gets most of the water uh, off. Then I, um, you see how fluffy, fluffy fluff it is again. And then I um, hang it upside down. I'm just wiping off the handle so that moisture doesn't just uh, run down. Thank you barbershop.no for the brush. I've uh, also been starting to use this from Prodasso. Uh, after shave stone if that would focus. It's a uh, I don't know if it's alum or alum, a l u n or a a l u m. I think it's alum stone. It looks like that. It tastes like salt. I'm just running that on the cold water. Just getting some cold water on my face. So it's got something to glide on. I'm using this to kill the bacteria and uh, to check how even my shape was. If this stings, I know I've uh, done something wrong and uh, it doesn't. So smooth shape. Checking my neck under uh, the chin. Nope. And this is often where you get irritated, so to make 100% sure, just letting it. Now this tightens up your skin. I don't want this on my lips because it tastes like, yeah, salty seawater crap. There, just rinse it off. And this is important. If not, your stone can be ruined. Take it in a towel and dry the heck out of that stone before you put it away. And I can uh, taste it, so I got something on my lips. And it tastes like yeah, bleh, bleh. Just taking the towel. Ah, yeah, it tastes like yeah, dry coffee, white water with <laughs> salt in it. That's probably what it is: calcium and uh, salt. I have no clue what's in it. Potassium, soldate, or something, something. I know it helps. Putting it into its little box. And what am I using today? I'm using some skin food from uh, GOF Trumper. That's my favorite thing in the world. I used this for maybe four or five months, and that's what I used off the bottle. And the same with this, <laughs> you don't need much. But I'm gonna rinse just with lukewarm water to get a little of that uh, stone off my face. Because now it's done its thing, I can feel I'm tight. And I'm doing this. I feel I'm tight in the face. And I know I'm a little mad, but bear with me. And it's killed the bacteria, it's closed my pores, 
I'm just so I'm not freezing my fingers off. Taking um, just it's it's cold, but it's not like hurting my uh, fingers cold. And again, just washing. And you can use that the stone as a natural deodorant too, but then of course don't use it in your face. There. Perfect. Just shaking. Shake, shake, shake. Look at that fat. Shake, shake, shake. Look. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your fat. Shake your fat. Putting a... Three, four yeah, drops doesn't take much. A little, that little goes a long way. And yes, I know what it looks like. But trust me, it smells insanely good. Shaking this, I don't know if you need to, but adding three, four drops. That one. Getting the lid on with one hand, putting that back, I don't want it to break, rubbing that together and now the real test goes because the Prurazo one contains alcohol and will sting like crazy if you got a nick, nothing, nothing at all. I can feel anything on my skin It doesn't hurt anything when I rub it in And you can tell everybody that TUF Trumper Sandalwood Skin Food is the best And sorry about that bad singing but it, it's really fantastic just rub it in and done. Just because I got something on my lip and it doesn't taste good. Just wetting a piece of paper and washy washy. There. Washing my hands because if you are itching in your eyes, it. I don't think it's very dangerous, but. It will hurt a little, but I've done it several times, and I'm not blind yet, so but I have to wash my hands to get them clean. And then, after all this, I'm washing the Müller Roca, and taking out the blade, wiping that dry, and stopping it again 3-4 times on just my pants. And when doing that, you can, I can, I won't say you can, because it depends on the bird, get anything from, yeah, the least I can do is seven, eight times. But I can comfortable shave, often, between 10 and 15. I forgot what I said, how many times I used the last one, was it 12, was it 15, yeah, something like that. Yes. Taking off the blade, and you see, I'm going to see if you can see, but can you see it isn't uh, dry, so um, there, that needs to be done. Just screwing it back together and I'm done. Perfect shave, no irritation, no stubble left. I'm baby but smooth, my skin feels fresh, no uh, hurting at all, my skin feels good. So please, please, please press like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon and get notified when I release videos, uh, share, share the channel if I didn't say it, leave a comment, yeah, just help me grow. Thanks for watching guys uh, and gals if there's any ladies watching, please stay safe everyone, it's 
warm as yeah hell stay safe stay stay hydrated take care don't get the corona wash your hands <laughs> i love all of you watching stay safe bye